Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. Here we are, what I think is probably one of the last little bits of the King's Quest Chapter 5, where I've completed all these really kind of cool logic puzzles. But now here we are with a really, what appears to be a coin flip. But every time I click on this table, he's like, Oh, don't, uh, just decorative. <laughs> but there's my castle. But I don't know what it's telling me, and then like, Manannan's like, just keep, just hurry it up. But a king Take is always time. right. Well, I guess you won. Best of me. Good show, old friend. Guess I'll ingest this and call it a night. Yeah, they were both poisoned, weren't they? But you know I don't play fair. And you just revealed where the elixir is hiding. You played right into my trap, just like that foolish archer. Don't you mess with us in the name of a Chaka. What are you doing? Um. Oh, oh, you're pointing that on my castle, uh, bro. Uh, can I do anything Grandpa, here? Grandpa's life was spared, and our whole family moved to Tanalore. The end. No. What? It couldn't have ended like that. You know, if I chose that tongue, it would have destroyed the very castle you are standing in. There was only one solution. He was out of options. Grandpa looked around at the kingdom he created and realized there was only one choice. Grandpa knew he was eradicating Elixir and slowly destroy him from the inside. But Daventry would live on. That day, Manny was outsmarted in a way he never imagined possible. In a way he could not comprehend. Huh. Nice move. I'll accept that. But let's see if I can help speed up the effects of that motion. Oop. This is not good. You Mordak. You the thinking man to brute force. I hope you're happy. Mordak's not going to stand for this. Oh, ow. You've already won. There's no need to torture him. It was at that moment, while his body was being jerked through the air, that Mordak was reminded of his first encounter with Grandpa. I think this had to happen in the story. I had to scare them away and spare him. Or maybe did I have the choice to throw something at him? I don't remember. Those memories stirred up something fierce inside of Nanny didn't save him from the life of God. Grandpa did. And it was time to repay the favor. Come on, Mordek. Leave him be. I won't ask you again. I guess it's time I held your tongue. Oh, Mordak's going to smash the crystal. You it? No, no! What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Is he gone, gone? Go Mordak? Mordak? Come on, buddy. You saved me. Oh, Mordak. Or Morden. Whatever. Whatever you prefer. Is he mute now? I think so. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Manny's enchantments over the castle were broken. And he was never heard from again. Daventry continues to thrive and prosper thanks to the sacrifices made by King Graham, the greatest grandpa to have ever lived.
cool story, bro. Is he still... Oh, yes. He heard every word. Thank you, Gwendolyn. That suits you well. It was beautiful. You kids have always brought so much joy to your grandfather. All of his children have. Aw. All right, kiddos, it's bedtime. Say goodnight to Grandpa and I'll tuck you in. Um, goodnight seems kind of a, a tame word for what they're saying. Goodnight, Grandpa. I, I love you. I love you too, God. And I am proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot. Oh, they, they know what they're saying. I just want to say, you're the best grandpa. And my favorite person in the world. I love you. And I'm so sorry you didn't get your last adventure. Sweetheart, there is nothing to be sorry about. I now know that all of my adventures will live on forever inside of me. As long as you keep telling my stories, they will never die. Thanks for sharing them with me, Grandpa. I love you. I love you too, dear. Go. Go get some rest. Wake me in the morning, and we can make some pancakes. Well, they know better. They know there's no pancakes. Off and out of bro. It would be really apropos if I was able to take control of her right now, and I can't. Oh, shit. That means the mantle has quite officially been passed. like little tapestries for everything I've done. There's the hobble pots. I guess that changes depending on uh, your choices in the game. There's my, uh, my glowing purple pumpkin. <laughs> I guess that color of the pumpkin also changes uh, depending on your actions. There's Rosella hanging out with Proud Papa. Can't imagine any decision I would make would change what that looks like. There's Alexander, looking stern, but determined, filled with determination. There's my current one, King Graham the Wise. I guess that could also change into compassionate or powerful, depending. And there he is, my, my fresh-faced bride. It's kind of a nice little last little little touch as I mope, action moping to the door. I gotta say though, for a little kid, she's processing this well. <gasps> There's the box. There's the box I was just talking about. Oh, it's just full of pictures and memories. Oh, 
That's all that was in there. Nothing, no solutions to puzzles, just something to remember them by. That's really sweet. Yeah, that candle's been burning since the beginning. Now it's out. Oh, there's the addendum he was writing. 48677. A lot of stuff blacked out there. To allow, I guess, Gwen to be the new ruler of Daventry. Does she know that belongs to her yet? Magic Mirror doesn't say anything about her future as king. Here's the chair I always sat in to listen to the stories. Graham's dirty old bed. Finally read it. Process your grief, Gwen. My sweetheart, Gwendolyn. When you read this letter, you'll already know about the crown I have left for you and why. Please don't worry about me. I lived a long, fulfilling life, and I wouldn't change one decision. I've promoted wisdom and knowledge in this kingdom. And I've seen that same thoughtfulness in your eyes. But I would never force upon you rules and addenda to protect my legacy. You must make your own decisions. I only share my stories in the hope that they would help you down whichever path you choose for Daventry. Go forth and be Queen Gwendolyn the wise, or the patient, or the dragon slayer. Just know that I will always be watching over you and kissing your forehead from the stars above. What did she see in the mirror? And I noticed she grabs the adventurer's cap instead of the crown. That... Uh... That's it? O okay, that was kind of an abrupt ending. Okay. So... Uh, yeah. That's it. That is it. So, make room for Queen Gwendolyn of Daventry. King Graham is gone. Now, I am curious. Um, from what I saw in the trailer, because it looked like the dragon did pop up, and he was really obviously there with old Graham. So I wonder if that was something that we had to do with uh, uh, an alternate storyline, like maybe the uh, the power or the I guess not the compassion storyline. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed that the dragon didn't show up again. So it turns out that uh, Mordak the entire time not that bad a guy, but really under. Uh, Mananen's thumb, or Manny's thumb. So everything that he did in King's Quest V was just pretty much because Mananen told him so. And it's like, yeah, we gotta get the lotion and blah blah blah. And, yeah, at the end he was like, wait a minute. You didn't save me from those uh, goblins. King Graham did. And then he does what we would figured he would do at the beginning. And Mananen knows her. I wonder what made them want to make Mananen the uh, the main bad guy in the, in the story anyway, not Mordak or some maybe in inventing someone else. And I also wonder what I can do to go back and see what would have happened to all the other characters, like Amaya and Whisper, um, Wenty and Bramble and everyone. After, well, like chapter, chapter two or three, they just kind of disappeared. And I guess instead of talking to Acorn the whole time, where the... Uh, the Hobblepots used to be, they would have been your point of contact for all the story-driven whatevers, like who you would have zipped to in Chapter 2 and 
and all that. So that does give it a little bit of replayability and make a lot of different choices because it doesn't really sound like there are any wrong choices moving throughout the story. It just shifts things around. I'm glad I took the hobble pots away because Acorn is a delight. And I wonder also if um, since Alexander met Acorn during chapter four, if someone else would have sung a song in through that uh, through that gramophone that he came across. Oh, so many unanswered questions that we need to find out. But will we ever? Well, I'm intrigued in the end to see if there is that sort of epilogue chapter that I heard about. Uh, maybe that's where the dragon comes into play. Maybe there is no dragon. I don't know, but uh, it was kind of an emotional ride, I gotta say. And I'm looking at Steam when I, when I booted this up. Um, even though this game has been spread along almost a year now, I've gotten a full 40 hours of gameplay out of it. And I may go back and, uh, and do it again. I'll go back and find some achievements I missed, and some secrets, and easter eggs, because you know they love that. And try a few other stories. Like, I'll go down the Amaya route and see if we can't sort of get her to stick around and see what she looks like in, in old age. And maybe Whisper will stick around. So, uh, yeah, I got a little, little bit, uh, a little bit misty through that one, but I think they handled the end of this game really, really well. It was uh, not beat you over the head, let's try to coax all the tears out of you as possible. I mean, it did for a while, but then they go and went right back into the storytelling. And yeah, the ending, I think, was treated very nicely. Uh, the ending was a little bit weird when she just grabbed the adventurer's ca cap and then the music, everything just cuts to credits and it's like, alright, well, that's a little bit of closure, I guess. Uh, that seemed a little wacky to me, but Again, through the entire course of the game, it is forgivable. So what did you guys think? I know the majority of you must have played through this game also. What choices did you make? How did your ending differ? Did your tapestries look a little bit different? I'll do some experimentation and see what I can find that's different throughout the course of the game. If you make some really wildly different choices than I have. Because I played this game as I would have made choices myself. So this time maybe I'll roleplay a little bit as sort of like a really roguish... King Graham, you know, kind of like the more, a little more dickish, maybe, and we'll see what happens with uh, the Daventure I leave behind. But speaking of leaving things behind, I guess it's time we close this chapter for good, unless there's another one that comes out, like that little epilogue chapter that we've heard tell about. But until then, if that day ever comes, I remain ever yours. Good night, Jelly Beans. Good night.